Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. It's Tuesday and Arun has questions. We'll try and answer them. Yes, Arun, what is today's question? Mm. What's I, cooking in your brain today? I read an article in Mint newspaper. It says, India to push rupee investments in Sri Lanka. So, India is not as rich as US or other Arab countries. So, why is India investing in Sri Lanka? And how is this investment done? No, no, you to, got it wrong. Mm. Here, it's more Sri Lanka than poor. Okay. Okay, Sri Lanka is our neighbor. Mm. They're in dire straits economy. If mm. you've been following what's happening yeah. in Sri Lanka, then they're having tough times. Mm. Food prices have increased so much. Yeah. So usually trade between countries is done through dollars. Mm. Sri Lanka to help Indian companies to come and invest into Sri Lanka and create jobs in Sri Lanka has designated Indian rupee as a currency to pay for trade between mm. both countries. Mm. So settlement instead of being in dollars can be done in rupees. Indian rupees. Okay. That means Indian rupees for a special window will be traded between Sri Lanka and India because we are friends and we want to help Sri Lanka. Payments will be made and received in rupees. And RBI has also greenlighted this project. So it will become a currency of trade between India and Sri Lanka. It's like dollars. Instead of dollars, we're using rupees. So Indian companies, when they open shop in Sri Lanka, they can pay in rupees and bring back payment in rupees. Mm. So what is the advantage of this, you tell me? For so, Indian companies. Sri Lankan, they are told you their advantages. Indian investments will come, Indian so, companies will set up shop, jobs will be created, salaries will be paid. Mm. That's all Sri Lankan. So, but what is the advantage for India? Indian companies will get wider exposure to the foreign markets. That is all true anywhere you go mm. set up shop. Now. Okay. What is the advantage for setting up in Sri Lanka and taking payment and making payment in rupees for Indian companies? Think about it. If you're doing business outside India, you have to convert to dollars no. and bring it back in dollars. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So, rupee has to be made into dollars mm. and leaves as dollars, mm. does whatever it does outside. Mm. Then your payment comes back as dollars mm-hmm. and converts back into rupees yeah, and yeah. terms. So, what happens during that time? So, forex reserves will increase. Oh. If you're a businessman, what happens? Today, I'm sending dollars for X. Mm. Does the dollar conversion stay the same? If today I'm giving $100 yeah, yeah. and I come back and take it from you one month later, mm. will I make no, a profit? No. Will yeah. I make a profit or a loss? It will be a loss. Uh, why? Wait. Because Wait. dollar Wait. prices against Indian rupees will Wait. keep increasing. Yeah, there's a always there's a currency fluctuation between rupees and dollars. So that fluctuation will be removed. Mm. Right. So Indian so companies it's directly rupee uh, investment is done in Yeah, Australia. everything okay. is rupee rupee. Mm. Yeah. Right. So I can take so many crores of rupees into Sri Lanka build my factory, pay Sri Lanka in rupees. Mm. Sri Lanka will take those rupees and buy whatever it needs from India. Okay. And Sri Lanka likes that because Sri Lanka doesn't need to use its dollars. Its mm. dollars are very limited. It has only a few dollars. It can keep its few dollars for other things. Mm. And whatever it needs from India, India has most things Sri Lanka needs right now. It has food, it has infrastructure, it will be able to supply automobiles, mm. even if crude is required, petroleum, finished petrol processed in our Indian state refineries as I know, HPCL mm, yeah. and uh, IOL, they'll produce Indian oil, will take Russian crude oil, make it into petrol mm-hmm. and then sell it to Sri Lanka. Okay. Sri Lanka can pay it in rupees. Mm. So it works, mm. right? It's like a small ecosystem. It's like being part of India, but not part of India. Mm. It's like being the part of the Eurozone. So there's no conversion loss. Mm-hmm. So it's a benefit for everybody. Mm. So if an Indian company wants to borrow money to set up a factory in India, Sri Lanka is very easy, it borrows in rupees. Okay. If it has to set up a factory, let's say in uh, Burma or let's say in Maldives or Madagascar, it has to borrow in dollars. Mm. Correct. True. Here, you just take rupees. Mm. And it's very easy to take your rupees back and forth. Now RBI has greenlit the project. So digital transaction also will become easy. That is why India is saying, okay, we'll do this. It's a benefit for both. India and Sri Lanka used to be like this long ago. Then political situation changed in Sri Lanka. Political situation changed in India. And China also came to the party. Then India and Sri Lanka were not so friendly to each other. But way back long ago, we were very friendly to us. That's what there's something known as SARC. You know what SARC is? South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. Correct. Who are all members in it? Mm. Mostly South Asian countries like China, India, Sri Lanka. I don't think Bangladesh. China is a member in SARC, is it? Mm. Mm. Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, <coughs> Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. Mm. There's no China. China is sometimes bought as a friendly guest in some mm-hmm. meetings they brought. I don't know if they recently brought or not. But 
way back when they started this, it was like the India's version of the Eurozone. That each of them were independent countries, sovereign countries, but at the same time, economic and defense will collaborate and protect each other and do trade with each other at a discounted price and help each other's economy. That was the ideal behind it, but that's not happened because as much as we want to get along, we don't get along with each other. So the problem for India is India is the largest in the whole group and India sometimes bullies. If someone is big and powerful, you see, you know, in movies. We try to friend them or uh, fight against them. No, we don't fight against them. We try and coerce them into what is good for us. Mm. And people don't like that. There might be a strategic reason why we're doing it. But sometimes in our history, if you see, India could have done things better and could have done things differently, but we didn't. We had our own motivations. But that's how everything is there in the world. Like even within Europe, Northern Europe and Southern Europe are always at each other's throat. Mm-hmm. Like Southern European countries are the ones who are always in deficit. They're the ones who are always uh, in problems mm-hmm. economically. The Northern Europeans are the ones who are very hardworking and uh, they don't live very extravagant lives. Their culture itself is to save money mm-hmm. and they lead very simple lives. And the Southern Europeans are the ones who are like borrowing money mm-hmm. and live a very flashy life. So like in India, there's North India and South India differences. Yeah, it's so there are differences. Also. Yeah. So that leads to a lot of problem within Europe. So Germany has always be in the middle trying to broker peace. Everybody hates Germany for that. Everybody hates France for that. But that's how it is in any situation where you're trying to get along. If you are able to see the benefits more than the differences, then it will succeed. Problem for India and its neighbors is we are always seeing the differences more than the commonalities mm. between each other. Right now, the only reason Sri Lanka and India are like thick friends right now is Sri Lanka is in a very bad shape. And the, China cannot do anything for Sri Lanka right now because they owe China a lot of money. Mm. And the current political climate is not China friendly. Mm. So China cannot do anything for Sri Lanka right now. And also US is putting immense pressure on India and Indian companies giving favorable things. Like even U.S. has given Adani special funds to help him renovate and do the Sri Lankan port. Mm. They keep Chinese influence out yeah. because the port needs to be upgraded in Sri Lanka. Adani is doing it. And Adani looked at the U.S. and said, hey, I need some money to do this. U.S. said, I'm okay. Mm. Strategically, mm. it needs to do it. I mean, agree or not agree is a different thing. But this is how the world works. But it's a good thing. If you're a businessman and you're trying to think of an idea of doing some business, Sri Lanka is a great place to do business right now. Okay. Understood? Mm. Okay. Chalo. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this podcast. I hope it was informative and entertaining as always. We'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. Thank you.